Hmm, a video about beans. What the heck? It'll be worth it for all the high quality fart jokes. Okay, let her rip. Hi, thanks for tuning in to find out what the deal is. The dog is already bored. It is with five different mid-eastern flavors of beans from a company called California Garden. Really? A video of taste testing beans? The fact Caesar is already yawning should tell us something. And they make quite a few different types of, of canned goods and other food products, but caught my attention were these five Mideastern recipes. Mideast? So you mean like Kentucky and Tennessee? So we'll find out if we can figure out what the secret ingredients are, and if not, we'll just read the ingredients. Duh. Then we have a Lebanese recipe. We'll try that. An Egyptian recipe, a Palestine recipe, and a Saudi recipe. Okay, so you meant Middle Eastern, not Mideast. There is a difference in case you didn't know. Each flavor. So the main ingredient in pretty much all of these is fava beans, but there are other differences, I guess, in each one. So why don't we just dive right in? And the start of the fart jokes. Recipe first. Okay, it's kind of runny, so I gotta be careful that I don't spill. Caesar will be all over. Yeah, rootin' and tootin'. It smells like canned beans. Wow, what an unexpected plot twist. But yeah, obviously needs stirring. Okay, let's try them. Oh, very good flavor. I'm not sure what kind of spices I'm eating here. Let's see if the ingredients tells us. Okay, premium fava beans, water, tomato, sunflower, salt, modified starch, sugar, caspian, garlic, onion, chili, cumin, white pepper, and a few other things. How specific? Chat GPT what the main spice from the, each region was. Using artificial intelligence isn't going to make this video any smarter. I don't see that on the list here. And I don't see Caesar. Cardamom is not even listed on this. So I don't know what chat GPT is talking about. Whoa, you don't want to anger AI. They'll send their robot soldiers. Okay, let's try the Palestinian recipe. Okay, the Palestinian recipe is even more liquidy than the other one, than the Saudi. Oh, it is really runny. Yeah, so the Palestinian recipe has chickpeas in it as well. Let's try it. I don't know if I'm supposed to be draining these or what. Smells good. Yeah, totally different than the Saudi one. Oh, this is really good. This has a really unique flavor, kind of silky almost. You've eaten silk, have you? GPT, the prominent flavor in Palestine is Za'atar, which is a versatile spice blend consisting of dried thyme, sumac, sesame seeds, and salt. It's used extensively in Palestine cuisine to flavor bread, salads, meats, and dips. It is really delicious. Let's just see what the ingredients actually are in this. So it's fava beans and chickpeas, olive oil, salt, sugar, citric acid, cumin, garlic, chili, and some other ingredients. Again, how specific? Almost tastes like if a hug had a flavor, it would taste like this. Oh my God, am I watching a Hallmark movie? Let's try the Egyptian recipe. Oh wow, all of them are so different. This one is almost like, looks like it has the consistency of refried beans and it's got a totally different scent oh yeah it's quite hard or quite yeah it's quite firm oops no bet he ate what he dropped I'm on top there seems to be oh yeah definitely a liquid explosion in the middle now the consistency is changing to a runnier consistency these ones obviously need a lot of stirring well, let's have a taste and then we'll see what's in it. This one tastes like something familiar to me. I am loving these beans. I wasn't sure if I would, but so far I'm loving this one. Is this video sponsored? Okay, let's see what is in this one. Peeled fava beans, sunflower oil, salt, sugar, cumin, caramel, chili, natural color, a few other things, but the, there's nothing that's really making it stand out. Maybe it's the cumin. This one tastes the saltiest of them all. Let's see what chat GPT says about Egyptian spices. Egypt is known for cumin. Cumin is a widely used spice in Egyptian cuisine, adding earthy and nutty flavors to dishes such as falafel and various stews and soups. So I must be tasting the cumin in this and I turns out I really like the flavor of cumin. <laughs> Let's open the Lebanese. 
Look who's back, everybody. <laughs> Thank God, something cute to look at. Lebanese recipe. And again, this one is really runny. Okay, let's give this one a stir. It looks like this one has chickpeas in it as well. Very good. I'm surprised at how uniquely different every one of these is. This one has almost a flavor of, it is something really familiar. Now let's see what the ingredients are. It's fava and chickpeas, olive oil, salt, sugar, citric acid, garlic, calcium, and some other stuff. But no specific spice. And according to chat GPT, the spice of Lebanon is, a spice of, oh, is a sumac. I wonder if that's what I'm tasting. I only recently discovered that and I love it. ChatGPT describes sumac as a tangy spice commonly used in Lebanese cuisine to add a citrusy flavor to salads, meats, and dips like fatouche, kebabs, and hummus. Anyone who knows me knows I love citrus, so... Good to know. I'll offer you some the next time I don't invite you over. Because I love it. Just what the world needed to know. That I really like. I'll try it again now that I know. Although I don't think it listed it, did it? No, the only spice they're saying in here is garlic and citric acid. Don't know why they wouldn't have used sumac. One of the world's great mysteries. Okay, and last, we have a secret recipe, so I couldn't ask chat GPT what was in this one or, or what spice would be predominant in it. Maybe their secret is they just combine all the other ones into one. Okay, this is a solid one again with a lot of liquid in it. I'm assuming that liquid is... The oil. Let's take a look at the ingredients. That beans, water, tomato, sunflower, sugar, salt, calcium. Okay, let's give this a try. I think I've got it stirred enough. This one's very mushy in its consistency. Okay, very delicious. Okay, I'm a big fan of this company in there. Are you sure this isn't sponsored? It's like eating lumpy mashed potatoes. Okay, so... If I were to pick a favorite, I'd pick all five, but let's try them again. Here's a Saudi recipe. So good. This one tastes like it has, tastes like almost like it has green peppers in it. Let's try the Lebanese again. This one's a lot milder than the Saudi. Let's try the Palestinian, Palestine. Yeah, I'm really liking this one. And the Egyptian. I'm loving the spices in these. I think the only spice in this is vanilla, because that's what this video is. There's a few that are really bold and a few that are quite mild. There's a couple that are quite bold. I'd say the Saudi and the Egyptian. And then these other three, the Palestine, Lebanese, and Saudi are the milder of the three. So if, if you don't want a lot of really heavy flavor, then I'd go for those three. And if you want something that's going to kick it up a notch, I'd go for the Saudi or the Egyptian. But oh my God, I'm feeling very full. Full of what? Eating the equivalent of, of an entire can already. Okay, so we know what that's going to do. I've, this is going to end up on my grocery list from now on. By the way, I got these at a, at a specialty market, but I also saw them at Freshco, which is a sort of discount grocer in Western Canada. And... I think in Eastern Canada now too. They're kind of mainstream, so the bigger supermarkets with a big international section may have these. If you can find them, I would try them. I paid $1.99 a can for these, so. What about Amazon? Well worth it for the food. Holy ripoff for Canada. Kudos to California Garden. And that is the deal with Mideastern recipe fava beans. Bye. What a rip, not one fart joke. What about beans, beans, a musical fruit? The more you eat.